So it's a little bit of a different view today. We are heading towards a place called B Sands. Um, we're just at Slapton Sands at the moment, coming into a place called Tor Cross. And we are heading over to check out a pub. Um, <laughs> check out a pub, yeah, at B Sands. Um, basically, we're just sort of gonna go down and check out what the parking's like down there for motorhomes and stuff. So uh, there is a campsite I wanna um, take a look at as well that's just up the road, uh, but that won't be open at this time of the day because it's only the, uh, was it, 24th Feb today. Um, so this is just coming into uh, the little uh, town village, village, village of Tor Cross. which is a nice little place. Actually, we've been down here um, many a time and had, there's some beautiful fish and chips in the pub, which is just up here. We gonna buy it? We gonna buy it? We have the pub is just there on it. But um, so just up around the corner is the caravan club site. It was actually a while ago we came down, we actually came down and stayed in the caravan and motorhome club site up the road, didn't we? Yeah. And then came down to Stokely Farm Shop, which is on the right here. Quite a nice place to go as well. If you're staying down at, down at Tor Cross at the um, motorhome club site, which is just here. And you don't have to come on this road. There is a walkthrough from the club site. There is the club site with the boat outside. It's uh, not much happening today. It's all a bit uh, redundant. So there's the sign where we turn off the main road up to this little roundabout. Cricket Inlet, that's where we're going. It's called the Cricketers, East Sands, Prawl, and East Portsmouth. signs there look. B Sands one mile. We've got some signs down here so Diver oh there's a bit of a there's some diversions going on down here. I don't know what this is all about. Maybe it's because it's been flooded. Oh road ahead closed. Yeah. Damn oh a little diversion. So wait, wait, hang on let's just go down and have a look. Okay, time to turn around. Looks like they're doing a bit of uh, hallway improvement work, so we're just going to uh, swing round back up. So we're on the other road, but it's pretty narrow down here. I wouldn't bring a motor on down. Nah, it looks a bit, uh, bit, bit narrow. But we're just going down to have a little look anyway. Just got to suss it out. The trouble is, it's all right when, until you meet someone in these little lanes, and it that's the trouble. Welcome to the old fishing village of B Sands, home of the Cricket Inn and Britannia on the beach. Right, let's go and have a look then. Yeah, it's just sort of, uh, just this side by the look of it. Oh, day night. Yeah, that's all right. 
Alright, they're just coming in now. I think this is the, what's this, a little um, Britannia at the beach, a little uh, takeaway kind of counter, and I think the pub is a little bit further on. Yeah, this is a cricket in here. So on the right hand side is all the uh, parking slots for cars and there's all these signs saying no overnight parking, no camping. So it's not the uh, no camping or caravans, no overnight parking on the signs. There's the pub. Right, I'm gonna park, where can I park? In, uh, in there, I'll you know where? Yeah, I'll chuck it in here. So I think the uh, boat winch is um, sent a bit of life, <laughs> a bit of salt water as well. Yeah, it looks a bit rusty, but uh, it's not a bad location down here. Let's swing this camera around, show you down this coastline. You see the start point lighthouse right in the distance. Of information on the board. The B Sands fishing story. That's what it was like all them years ago. And pulling the nets in. Wow. So we've just come down the coast, we came down over the hill, through street, down over the hill, along Slapton Sands in the Tor Cross. So this is the angle looking up towards Tor Bay in that direction, Dartmouth.
right, we're going to make our way into the cricketers. I think, check out the pub. Oh, look, nice octopus. Yeah, so we've just actually literally been in the cricketers at B Sands. This is where we are at the moment, and we bump into people uh, that watch our YouTube channel. How amazing is that? Yeah. Say hello. Well, it's lovely. It's lovely to meet you. Guys. Excellent. Thank, thank you. you very much. We're always watching you on the television. It's just lovely to see you. And you'll be. Oh, we, oh, feel, we feel we know you so well. You say. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you very much. That's all. That's all. Yeah. So yeah, we're having a, quite a nice little afternoon down here at all. Uh, B Sands in the end. Um, yeah, bumping into some subscribers and uh, having a couple of beers. The rugby's on. There's a lot of people down that end of the bar. Um, we're down here in this incredible. The cricketers' arms are just incredible, and you know we need to like. Uh, it'd be great to get down here with some like reasonable parking for the motor home because this is like a really incredible location. Look, look at this. Wow. What a pub stop. <laughs> What a pub stop this would make. Look at the view up here from the restaurant. It is fantastic. We're gonna go for the food. We shifted tables and everything, but we're a little bit excitable because uh, the kitchen's not gonna be open until six o'clock down here. Uh, the food looks absolutely amazing. We were sat there looking at all the awards for the food, started browsing the menu, and we're like, yes, we need to eat here. Uh, with a view like this, what do you think? Do you know what I mean? So anyway, but he said it's not actually reopening until um, six o'clock. It's only like uh, about quarter past four. So uh, we have got a schedule to keep, and we're gonna have to crack, um, crack on, unfortunately which is a bit of a shame, but uh, we will return, I'm sure. So 
So there we go, we're uh, pulling back out of these hands. <laughs> This is the other kind of like uh, little restaurant-y place here. I don't, I think, I don't know whether they got a little uh, eat-in place there as well. But, um, we are going to mosey on because it's now 4.30, which we thought it was a lot uh, kind of later than it, uh, it just felt a little bit late. later. We're on, I think we're still on European time. <laughs> so let's get back up these lanes. Oh my God, you missed the letterbox. No, I didn't. Oh. No, I didn't. Oh God, there's some big, big holes here, oh. right down the bottom of the hill. But, um, we're going we're gonna, to um, check out, so I'm just, as we're going back up, because I did that little diversion <laughs> on the way down, so uh, coming back up, uh, right, we go straight on. So that's the little village where we had the de yeah. we ended up with a detour, a Beeson. Yeah. Let's see what it's like up this road then. So a little bit of grip, little bit of green lane in down this way. I must admit, oh, yeah. um, but it's 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 doable. But it's okay until you meet someone in a lane like this, isn't it? You've got no, and then, no and then it's no. it's it's goable when it's uh, not too busy. But we were saying that basically. Um, it's not too motorhome friendly when you get down there. We don't know how well they police it. So we got to remember it's totally out of season now, but I think this is the they got cameras sugar, here. sugar park. Yeah, I think. Just have a quick look a minute. So the, watch. Yeah, so that's uh, on Facebook, like that, Forest and the Beach Instagram as well. So I'll have to check that out. So it is. I thought that was the cat. It might be the campsite, Forest and the Beach. I'm pretty sure that oh, uh, the, the campsite is yeah. here. Oh, perfect. We might be getting some pictures of some swans in Tor Cross. <laughs> oh, it's well, a nice And a nice greenhouse. <laughs>
tomorrow morning Under covered baby Is what you ask of me Soon I'll be disguised Shooting star I'm without 